Hi, I'm Tab Fershoff from uh, Aerial Pan Imaging, and this is my remote helicopter that we're doing a little filming with today. All right, and uh, hiding under the porch from the rain right now. Yeah, yeah, it's pouring. That's why we're not uh, <laughs> flying right now. So, is is there a particular model number, or is it all your own design, or just like part by part? Yeah, it's pretty much uh, custom fabricated. Um, kind of evolved over the last five years into what it is today. So. Yeah, you're not gonna you're not gonna swing by your local Fred Meyer and pick one up. No, I, I know I've seen um I've seen kits like that, but they're probably not as robust as yours. And I mean, you've got all the yeah uh, electronics in the front for manipulating the camera and all that. Yeah, and most of the most of those aren't designed to carry you know larger production cameras like this. So, yeah. is there a weight limit, or I mean, um, just sort of a soft weight limit, or what you are comfortable with? Yeah, it can carry a, about a red camera is the biggest it can carry, or a 35 millimeter film camera. So that's so. like about 40 pounds ish. Uh, no, that with one of those cameras, it comes out to about 30 pounds. Okay. Ready to fly. Okay. Yeah, yeah we saw it earlier. Uh, it goes pretty quick. Does it have a sort of? Have you ever? It can go about 75 miles an hour. Really? Speed. Yeah. Wow, that's pretty fast. Yeah, it was going pretty slow today. Um, so what's the? If you don't mind me asking, what are some of the newer modifications you've been able to do? I mean, if there's anything, not not getting into specifics oh, or anything, uh, but. Not really anything too complicated. Just you know, we we've been working on refining the gyro stabilization on the gimbal. Mm -hmm. uh, that's really the hard part is uh, you know stabilizing the camera effectively without adding too much weight. And the uh, the wings or the uh, the rotors no the rotor blades the rotor blades are carbon fiber. Yeah, is, carbon fiber. And it, I noticed it's really very much a sort of a skeleton that just to reduce weight, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. It's not it's not a very attractive looking helicopter, but I try to. Uh, add, not add anything to it that isn't performance or uh, camera related. Um, you were just in the Arctic uh, filming for something else. Uh, yeah, I was doing some filming for National Geographic. Oh, that's cool. And uh, so is there a problem? I mean, are there any, since it's so exposed for, because of its lightweight, did you have any trouble with uh, cold or, um, you know, obviously we're not shooting was, because it's in the rain, but. Yeah, yeah, I was really concerned before we went there about the temperatures and it, everything worked perfect. The only problem we had is one day it was, really foggy and we had some blade icing oh really um, oh yeah i can see that huh yeah but it's, it was it was manageable you just kind of noticed a uh, slow down in the rotor and it came in and landed and cleaned off the ice and waited for the fog to clear up and she was good to go again cool all right well uh thanks for thanks for showing us around the machine yeah oh, do you have a, it does it have a name uh yeah i don't have a name for it I have so many different ones that are works in progress that they're kind of all, they all get mixed parts and they don't really have distinct identities at this point. Well, all right. Uh, well, thanks for sharing with us. Yeah, no problem. All right.